Shrimp tank. Hey everyone, today we're going to feed the shrimp of Shrimp Town a banana. But first, we have to go out and find one. Nah, I'm just kidding. But we had to go to the grocery store and buy one. Also, listen to this cart I happened to pick. Isn't that awful? So after we were done clanking around the store like idiots, we got this banana. Isn't it beautiful? Anyway, we fed the shrimp zucchini, broccoli, a lollipop, and a strawberry, which they absolutely hated, but never a banana. Will they like it? I have no idea. Then, we put all of those banana pieces onto a stick and put it right in front of Captain Brap. After Sean lets go of the stick, there's already a shrimp on it. And within two minutes, there is even more. Little did we know our livestream would look so insanely colorful with all these red, blue, and yellow shrimp just completely chowing down on this banana. Alright, now let's go to the two hour mark and see how different the banana looks. As you can see, the shrimp are still chomping away, but the banana is looking a bit fuzzy? Here's a quick comparison. Now that's a lot of fuzz. Let's continue now to four hours. As shrimp continue eating, the banana only gets fluffier. Let's take a look at the banana! Unsurprisingly, the shrimp are still eating. Let's skip ahead 4 hours to the 8 hour mark. At the 8 hour mark, there seems to be only a few shrimp on it. I guess they're not really that hungry anymore. Without any shrimp on the banana, you can really see how nasty it looks. It looks all veiny, and that's pretty gross. And here's the comparison. And look at this. This is what it looked like at the 12 hour mark. Unfortunately, the camera stopped recording, but here's the 12 hour time lapse. Thankfully, we have the live stream. Let's check the banana at the 24 hour mark. Yeah, this definitely was not a good idea. And do you see all that fog? That is... Oh, it's Sean. Hello? Wait, what are you talking about? You're with who? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll let him know. Alright, see ya. Sean has somebody you're going to want to meet. That's Albert Brinstein. He's our top shrimp scientist. Let's see what he gathered for us. Starting with DLNT, which stands for Don't Leave Nanner in the Tank. What we learned is leaving foods that are high in sugar in the tank for too long will lead to bacteria blooms that look like this. 
This is why the tank looks super foggy. In hindsight, we should have taken it out a lot sooner. But we've fed the shrimp other fruits and vegetables before, and there hasn't been any major problems in the tank like it was with this one. Luckily, we decided to pull the banana out early and not leave it in for the full four days like we had originally planned. If that banana was left in there for too long, it could have led to this. And that shrimp's not dancing. In conclusion, we should have taken the banana out of the tank sooner. We're still pretty new to owning shrimp, and mistakes are a part of the journey. Shrimp Town's changed a lot over the last four months. There were only 12 shrimp in the tank when the stream started, now there's probably well over 100. We've added new substrate, and of course, Captain Brap, and Spongebob. And we're constantly working on new features for the stream, so make sure to subscribe to not miss any. Thank you to everybody who's been here along the ride. The Q&A is coming soon. Thanks for watching.